once again, it is I, Lisa Crenshaw, I'm here to read from, to you from Revelation chapter 6, verse 2. Verse two. Second verse, chapter 6, of the book of Revelations. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it says, And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. I'm going to um, translate this um, scripture for you. Um, and I saw, and behold, a white horse. A white horse simply just represents a bear, a bear flag of Israel. And it goes on to say, and he that sat on him had a bow. A bow just represents the two stripes of the flag of Israel, and you just bow those stripes like so. So let me just connect to the two stripes. That is the bowing of the two stripes. That is, and he sat, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. The crown is the star of David. So what you do is you take the bowing stripes and you put it on the bare flag of Israel, and it bows around, and it, it forms a circle around the top and around the bottom of the flag of Israel. And the crown is placed in the middle of the stripes on the flag. And what you have here is you have a gift. You have a present. You have a box that is wrapped in a bow. And what you do is you open it up, and what you find is you find the um, components of Christ in the crucifixion, you find Christ, you find the two boards, and you find the crown of thorns. And what you do is you take Christ and you position him like so. You take one board and put it here, the other board, and place it here. You would have Christ's hair flowing upward. You take the part of the crown of thorns and you place it on the bottom. And you take the thorns and place it up around the top. And what you have, if you see, if I stick my finger in there, what you have is you have a diamond ring. Christ is a man who died. He is a diamond. And this, my friends, is a ring. It is um, the fisherman's ring. Christ said, come let us, come and let me make you fisher of men. So it becomes the fisherman's ring. Man's plural is men, so fishermans is really plural. Fishermen, it becomes uh, the fishermen ring, and it is a class ring. It is my class ring. It is my graduation, and I am in a class of what? I am in a class of popes. And this ring has been given to me. So what the scripture says is, And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown. And I saw, and behold, the flag, the bare flag of Israel, and he that sat on him had a present. No. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown. And I saw, and behold, a present, a gift, a fisherman ring was given unto him. And he went forth, conquering and to conquer. And I have finally been given my class of Pope's ring. The Fisher men, not fisherman, not fisherman. The Fisher, not fisherman, the Fisher men. Man's is plural. I have been given the Fisher men ring. Thank you all. This is my 
and has been my dissertation and had been my thesis. It's been tough, but as you can see, the end result has been well worth it. Thank you, and I bid you all adieu.